Yeah, do you have a program or is there a particular program that you recommend people follow? And are there any particular programs that you recommend people don't follow? Um, yeah, well, so, so first I do, I do have a few programs and I'm coming out with more and, uh, you know, I, I basically give discounts on all of them so they can be as little as $20, uh, to, to, to get a program, you know, who can't scrounge up 20 bucks for a training program, you know? Um, but are there any programs that I, that I wouldn't recommend? I mean, not necessarily, uh, I, I prefer like the, the bodybuilding style of training just because it emphasizes recovery, but, uh, it, and, and less injuries are involved than let's say CrossFit or powerlifting. And so, uh, I recommend bodybuilding just as like a, uh, longevity from a longevity standpoint. But, uh, other than that, I would say not necessarily, I, I, it's just whatever you can stick to, whatever, whatever you enjoy. If, if it if it pulls you in or motivates you to go to the gym by all means do it you are certain really exercises, certain exercises i might not recommend but uh and speaking of that you had a polarized tweet recently where yeah. you said where you said uh deadlifts are overrated uh, you care to yeah. expand your psychology on that yeah i just i just don't think they have much functional value i mean like yeah you're you're picking up a lot of weight on the floor um or off the floor but uh it's like what how does what does that translate into and and what's the what's the point of it i mean of course it does translate into, into strength and, and and whatnot but uh the risk to reward ratio i don't think is favorable i think that uh a lot of people do get injured on deadlifts and uh as far as like the average person is concerned i just i think there are better alternatives you are one of the first people that I saw write that. Many times I think that because normally when I'm whenever I'm watching these fitness YouTubers or any sort of fitness people, the one thing that they keep on saying is you need squats and you need deadlifting. Mm. Now, Stop calling me out, man. <laughs> <laughs> harsh. <laughs> but the main times I got injured was with deadlifting. One of the times I couldn't walk for a couple of days and this was early on in my fitness journey so i'm assuming that it's a common thing uh, but i'll be real man I, I mean i never articulated this out loud but i wasn't a deadlifting guy at all uh, so mm. when you wrote that i made sure i liked it i, I should retweet <laughs> it now too oh yeah no, i mean the thing is like if you can watch videos of people uh doing deadlifts online uh you know on social media or whatever and you always see their how round their back gets by by pulling it up and it's like ugh, you know something's bound to happen with that and uh too many people too many people do it i mean deadlifting is a very technical lift there is a specific way to do it and and most people don't have that technique down and they want to progress faster than what their form will allow them to and so uh to me i just I, like i said i think there's just better alternatives or safer alternatives that you get the, the same results with and i don't think loading your spine very often i mean your spine holds everything together in your body and you're putting a ton of load on it and so uh it's it's the same thing with squats but to me squats are a little bit more beneficial uh functionally than, than deadlifts are um you're you're standing up sitting down and standing up basically and uh, I don't think that squats load the spine as much as deadlifts are concerned. Or, or concern, but I guess it just depends on the person. Really. And I did see it multiple. Cool. Go, uh, go ahead, Harsh. It would be cool to get Mark Repetto and Matt Stephens on the same podcast and wore it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mark, if you're listening, you're welcome on our show. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with Matt, though. I've been injured on the deadlift so many times, and my my deadlift isn't even particularly strong. My max deadlift is about three plates, so 140 kilos. And like, if I take a month off and I just deadlift again, say even 100 kilos, I will get injured. The thing is that the injuries get better, though. So I don't know what the long-term consequences are for these things, but the starting strength guy assures me that this is normal. So, you know, this is how it is.
Yeah, I mean, it just dep- it depends on the, the injury. But if you, like, slip a disc or something, that could be life-changing, you know. And uh, that's it's happened on, on deadlifts before. When you, you slip a disc and then that disc could rub up against a nerve for the rest of your life. And that's, ugh, you know, you don't, you don't want to deal with that. One of the first times I got injured, I heard this scrunching noise. And I thought that's what happened. That my hey Harsh, it's uh, echoing. Oh, one sec. Let me uh, reduce the volume a bit. Hold up. Well, that's what I How thought happened. Now? now it's good to go. That's what I thought happened. I, I thought uh, something happened with a disc. I didn't know. All I knew is that you're right when you're saying that the spine holds everything together. Because when I couldn't, uh, when I couldn't feel good on my lower back, Matt, it was hard to walk. It was hard to uh, get in yeah. the shower. It was hard to, when you lie down, yes. you're second guessing if I should get up. You're like, okay, I'm lying down watching Absolutely. TV right now. Do I really need to use the restroom or can this wait? And yeah. <laughs> the, the, these small little decisions are now plaguing my mind because my back hurts so much. So after that, I still did deadlifts. I got a, uh, one of the gym coaches in the gym area. Uh, for some reason, I never liked it too much. Now, I saw people asking you in your tweet, like, what's a good replacement? And you asked what their goals are. Mm. Uh, but do you have, l- let's say someone's goal is to um, get stronger. Do you have a replacement in- instead of the deadlift? Yeah, I mean, that, that, well, that's the thing is like, uh, even even just get stronger is pretty pretty general mm-hmm. and uh because because here's the thing is you, you could get stronger in anything um and and like overall strength i mean like how are we how are we measuring that and and so on and so forth like i'll give i'll give an example a different example uh a uh a, a woman commented you know what is a better alternative so i asked her what her goal was and she said that she wanted to uh I guess, tighten up her, her, uh, her butt, you know? And so I was like, okay, yeah, well, if that's the case, I, I definitely have a recommendation. I, I would do RDLs, which is a form of deadlifting, but typically RDLs, you're not maxing out. You're not doing a ton of weight. Um, and then, uh, and, and, and it also, it's, it's perfect. It's, it's a glute dominant exercise. So it's great for growing your, growing your, your glutes. And then, uh, another one I, I recommended to her were hip thrusts. You know, hip thrusts you could do a lot of weight with, and hip thrusts typically don't, um, you know, I guess conjure a lot of in- injuries, or at least you don't hear, you know, injuries about, or at least I've never heard in, about injuries with with hip thrusts. But those both of those are glute dominant exercises, and you know they're better to, they're they're better than your than the deadlift as far as developing your glutes. Mm -hmm. what's your thoughts on those people that say hey harsh is still echoing oh i'm so sorry let me try getting the headphone thing on but it's not working for some reason okay one sec so matt hypothetically let's say someone mainly just goes to the gym and uses machines is that any less optimal than just using barbells because that's a debate I hear a lot, like team barbells versus machines. Some say, why not both? But let's say it's a a normal person where they they want to be fit, but they don't want to make their entire life revolve around fitness. Uh, let's say they want to go to the gym and just use machines. Is that worse off? Uh, I wouldn't say that it's, it's, it's worse off, but uh, what I will say is, you know, the one of the one of the benefits you get from using free weights are those those smaller muscles that help you balance things you know with with your machine with a machine you don't necessarily have to balance because the machine is limited in in movement and it's pretty much guiding you uh you you can't take it in any and all directions but let's say uh for example uh, dumbbell bench press um when you're when you're pushing up from your chest, you have to keep those dumbbells balanced, otherwise they will fall in, in whatever direction. So it's those small uh, 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 stabilizing muscles in your shoulders that are also getting stronger from trying to to keep the weight stable. So I think that's one of the benefits you get with free weights 
versus machines. But I, I still I'm 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 probably in the camp of of why not both? Mm-hmm. Because uh, typically with a machine, in de- depending on how heavy the weight can go, uh, you, you're just you're, you're able to do a little bit more more weight because you don't have to stabilize, and you don't have to worry about you know the weight falling in one one way or another. So uh, if it's like a plate loaded press, you know that's still considered to me a, a, a machine. So you could load it up, however heavy you can go and typically be it would be able to do more weight than you would be able to do with a free, uh, free weights mm, okay that makes sense 